The cyberpunk subgenre of science fiction has always been an intriguing realm that delves into a future world rife with artificial intelligence, futuristic cities, and technological advancements. Although it's a common theme in the sci-fi world today, it has been one of anime's major selling points for decades. Anime films are often misunderstood as being strictly for children, but this is far from the truth. Japanese culture views anime as a sort of art form that caters to adult audiences, and the genre has had a significant impact on the world of sci-fi anime, with many films sharing common themes and aesthetics. From dystopian futures to high-tech advancements and the merging of humans and machines, cyberpunk has paved the way for exploring the relationship between humanity and technology. The gritty and often dark portrayal of society and its institutions, along with the emergence of powerful corporations and hackers, has become a hallmark of the genre. For people who are just getting into cyberpunk, this list can be your gateway into the world of beautiful visuals and even more intriguing plot lines. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Ghost in the Shell 1995 Ghost in the Shell challenges the viewer to contemplate the relationship between humans and technology. Set in 2029, the anime showcases a world where artificial intelligence and human cybernetic implants have become the norm. However, this dependence on technology has also opened up new avenues for crime and manipulation. The story centers around Major Motoko Kusanagi, a highly advanced cyborg who is on a mission to capture the Puppet Master, a rogue AI seeking asylum and claiming its right to exist as a life form. The anime explores several themes, including the dangers of over-reliance on technology and the loss of identity that may arise from it. Motoko's struggle with her ghost and physical body raises profound questions about cyborgs and their existence as individuals. The film questions whether the memories and thoughts of manufactured cyborgs are truly their own and whether they possess a soul. Apart from its thought-provoking themes, it stands out for its groundbreaking animation and special effects. The animation process had digitally generated animation DGA, combined with cell animation and digital audio to create a seamless and visually stunning spectacle. The animation director's meticulous attention to detail and realism, including extensive firearms research, added to the immersive experience. It dared to push the boundaries of sci-fi animation and left a lasting impact on the genre's legacy. Number 2. Cyber City 080-808 1990 through 1991 The anime industry in the West is known for its ephemeral nature, with only the most significant titles going on to have any long-term impact. However, there are still shows that manage to make a lasting impression on fans, such as Cyber City 080-808. This cyberpunk anime, released by Manga Video in the UK, was part of the first anime that exploded on the scene in the UK during Channel 4's Late License Strand. The show follows three hardened convicts, Sengoku, Benton, and Goggles, who are given the chance to reduce their sentences by working for the cyber police. However, they are fitted with explosive collars to keep them in line and must complete their missions before the literal deadline. The show consists of three OVA episodes. The first episode, Time Bomb, takes place in a space scraper where the building systems are hacked and the chief designer is targeted for assassination. The trio has only 24 hours to find the hacker, rescue hostages, and protect the architect from his assailant. The second episode, The Decoy, follows Goggles as he tracks down a criminal who has sold classified data, while Sengoku investigates a man's mysterious death by a military robot, and Benton chases down a group that traffics in human bodies. The third episode, Contact, involves a hostage situation at a research facility where the team must face a powerful AI that has taken control of the facility's systems. While many anime titles have short-lived licenses in the West, Cyber City 080808 has managed to make a lasting impression on fans. The cyberpunk themes and complex characters were ahead of their time, and the show's influence can still be seen in modern anime. Despite its limited availability, fans still seek out the show, making it a must-see for anyone interested in the genre. Number 3. AD Police Files 1990 – A Prequel to the Bubblegum Crisis Series AD Police Files is an exciting science fiction original video animation that will take you on a thrilling ride through the early days of Leon McNichol, one of the AD police officers, and his quest to bring justice to a world where artificial life is created to perform degrading tasks. Set in the year 2027 in Mecha Tokyo, this three-part series explores a world where androids, known as Voomers, are created to perform tasks that are considered too dangerous or undesirable for humans. However, these Voomers often malfunction and display lifelike emotional responses, leading to deadly consequences. In order to tackle these situations, the advanced police is created. 
The first episode, Voomer Madness, sees Leon McNeil teaming up with Gina to take down an illegal trade in Voomer parts and resurrected Voomers. The second episode, The Paradise Loop, follows police officer Iris Kara as she tracks down a serial killer in the Tokyo subway system and raises questions about the limits of human augmentation. In the third episode, Give Me Medicine, Billy Farnwood's brain is implanted into a powerful cyborg body with the sole purpose of destroying Voomers, but his desire to feel soon becomes overwhelming. Despite being a prequel to Bubblegum Crisis, AD Police Files has its own unique storyline and themes that explore the consequences of creating lifelike androids and what it means to be human. It is a must-watch for science fiction fans who enjoy stories that delve into the dark side of technology. Although the series was cut short due to legal conflicts, it remains a timeless classic that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Number 4. Battle Angel Alita, 1993 Battle Angel, a 1993 adaption of Yukito Kishiro's manga series, is also known as Gunma in Japan. Directed by Hirosho Fukutomi, this OVA consists of two episodes, Rusty Angel and Tears Sign, which preview volumes 1 and 2 of the manga with some variations. Initially, Kishiro only planned for two episodes since he was busy with the manga, but it serves as a condensed sneak peek into the story. The plot follows Daisuke Ito, a cyber physician who stumbles upon the remains of a female cyborg in the Zalem dump heap and restores her in a new body. The cyborg, now known Gally, becomes fascinated with Yugo, a boy who works for Ito. However, Yugo is obsessed with Zalem and fails to see Gally's affection for him. Meanwhile, Gally follows Ito and kills one of his attackers, leading her to become a hunter-warrior. It is a timeless classic that still manages to impress viewers to this day. While the animation style may not be as flashy as some modern anime, the director creates a sense of urgency and danger that works well with the brevity and brutality of the fights. Rather than relying on drawn-out particle effects, the action scenes are quick and dirty, resulting in a refreshing change of pace that adds to the overall excitement of the show. It paints a vivid picture of the setting without relying on excessive exposition. This is one of those animes which allows the viewers to immerse themselves in the world of the show without feeling bogged down by unnecessary dialogue. One of the standout aspects of the anime is the ending theme, Cyborg Mermaid, the heartfelt ballad with its doleful keys and deep female vocals, along with a rockin' guitar solo, is one of the best anime tunes of all time. It perfectly captures the emotional weight of the show, making it a memorable aspect of the viewing experience. Number 5. Psycho Pass, 2012 Psycho Pass is an animated series that delves into the darker side of technology and its effect on society. The show's unique cyberpunk settings presents a dystopian future where people's mental states are monitored and evaluated by a powerful computer network, the Sybil System. This evaluation creates a psychopath that determines a person's crime coefficient index, indicating their potential for criminal behavior and a color-coded hue which reflects their mental state. The main character, Akane Sunomori, is a young inspector assigned to the Criminal Investigation Division of the Public Safety Bureau, alongside enforcers who are latent criminals. She is tasked with solving crimes in this complex and corrupt world. The series explores a range of psychological themes, such as morality, ethics, justice, and the impact of violence on people's psyche. Psycho Pass is significant because it highlights the potential dangers of technology, particularly when it falls into the wrong hands. The show's exploration of how technology could be abused to control and manipulate people is both thought-provoking and timely. Furthermore, the series offers commentary on issues such as mental health and the impact of society's pressure on individuals. The anime's critical acclaim in Japan and the West attests to its ability to captivate audiences with its unique setting, thought-provoking themes, and compelling storyline. Psycho Pass stands out as an essential work in the cyberpunk genre, which explores the potential and consequences of technological advancements in society. Number 6. Serial Experiments Lane, 1998 Serial Experiments Lane offers an exploration of existentialism, identity, and the dark realities of technology. It takes viewers on a haunting journey into the darkest corners of the internet, as seen through the eyes of a 14-year-old girl named Lane Awakura, who receives emails from a girl who had recently committed suicide. She claims to have ascended to a new form in Wired, the show's version of the internet. Lane enters the Wired and experiences some of the darkest corners of the internet that are surprisingly relevant to today's world. This anime explores the psychological implications of the internet and social media, delving into topics such as online bullying and violence, online games, and identity. 
The show's writer, Chiaki J. Konaka, known for his horror movie background, made it with a dense and complex storytelling factor. The visuals of the show depict technology and the internet as sinister entities, offer a glimpse into the distribution of reality and existence because of it. Despite its challenging narrative, Serial Experiments Lane offers huge rewards to those who stick with it, showcasing the profound impact of perception, experience, and sensation on our understanding of reality and existence. Number 7. Technolize, 2003 In 2003, Madhouse produced an anime series called Technolize, a cyberpunk tale crafted by Chiaki J. Konaka. The series takes place in the underground metropolis known as Lux, where cybernetic advancements are only accessible to a select few. Lux is ruled by three groups, the Organo, a mafia-style syndicate, the Salvation Union, an ideological opponent of Technolize, and the Rakan, a rebellious gang of young liberals. The narrative centers around Ichise, a hot-headed young man who spurns the advances of an Organo woman and suffers the loss of his arm and leg. Ariko Doc Kaneda technolizes Ichise without his consent but Organo boss Onishi gives him a chance to become a member of the group. However, unseen forces are pushing for a major conflict in the city, and Onishi attempts to prevent it. The series' strengths and weaknesses are apparent. The slow pace of the first half and minimal dialogue can make it challenging to comprehend the characters and the world they live in. Nevertheless, the storyline delves into themes such as human nature, identity, the effects of prosthetics on human nature, and the path towards transhumanism. Technolize's visual style is outstanding, with a well-crafted color palette that serves both aesthetic and thematic purposes, as well as gritty character designs. However, the emotional connection with the characters is limited, and their struggles lack depth. The series has an intellectual quality, and the final episodes relied heavily on background exposition, although it remains fascinating. The conclusion is appropriate, and Technolize, as a whole, is a reflection on what it means to be human in a society where technology has overtaken humanity. Number 8. Ergo Proxy 2006 Ergo Poxy is a thought-provoking anime series that offers a unique exploration of humanity's purpose in a post-apocalyptic world. The show takes place in the city of Romdao, where humanity has retreated to domed cities following a catastrophic disaster. The city is divided into two groups, citizens and immigrants, and humans coexist with androids known as autorevs. The plot revolves around the spread of the Kagado virus, which causes the autorevs to become self-aware and uncontrollable, resulting in a series of murders committed by the infected autorevs. The protagonist, Inspector Riel Mayer of the Citizen Intelligence Bureau, investigates the murders and encounters a monstrous entity known as a proxy. Together with Vincent Law, a man with a mysterious past, they uncover the truth behind Romdo's facade and embark on a journey to discover their raison d'etre or reason for being. Throughout the series, the viewer is invited to question the value and purpose of life and the role of humanity in the universe. The show delves into the concept of free will and the search for purpose in a world where humans have created robots that can be programmed with specific personalities and commands. However, when the Kagado virus infects an autorev, it interlaces the parameters of their programming with their personality, causing them to experience an existential crisis. Ergo Proxy's audio and visual motifs effectively convey philosophical and metaphysical themes, such as Gnosticism. The show's theme uses its unique visual style to convey itself, and some scenes end abruptly, suggesting that our memory and perception may not always be trustworthy. These creative choices not only reflect on the fallibility of human cognition, but also add to the show's intriguing atmosphere. However, as the show progresses, the narrative style shifts to dream logic, which can create an uneven flow and disjointed creative decisions. The rest of the series uses dream logic, with creative decisions that are not always successful due to the weak narrative bridges linking these moments to the overall plot. Number 9. Marduk Scramble 2010 through 2012. Toa Bukuta's Marduk Scramble, which won the grand prize of the 24th Nihon SF Taisho Award in 2003, is a novel series that was adapted into a manga and an anime film trilogy. The story is set in Marduk City, a futuristic metropolis, and follows Rune Ballot, a former prostitute who was rescued from an explosion and transformed into a cyborg under the Marduk Scramble 09 regulation by Dr. Easter. Rune uses her advanced technology to defend herself against Shell Septinos, a gambler who tries to kill her to stop her from testifying against him. The Marduk Scramble trilogy is composed of three short films, the first compression, the second combustion, and the third exhaust, which build on each other, creating a single work. The series offers a unique spin on the cyberpunk thriller, introducing imaginative and unconventional ideas, such as a gang that collects body parts from victims and sky sharks, which act as Paradise's guard dogs, a secret hideout. Rune's unlikely partner is Ufkok, a talking mouse who can transform into a gun. 
The series portrays a bleak and ruthless vision of the future, blending elements of fantasy with elements of reality. The animation is generally good, and the action scenes are exciting, but the pacing of the series is somewhat slow and talkative. The series has an old-school feel and could almost be mistaken for a 1990s OAV like Cyber City Oedo or AD Police. However, the use of sexual violence as a plot device may offend some viewers. Rune Ballot's character development is limited, and her characterization is that of a victim. While this may be a deterrent for some, the Marduk Scramble trilogy offers a lot to enjoy for those who are willing to persist. Number 10. Blame, 2017. Blame, a mind-blowing Japanese sci-fi action flick, made its debut in 2017. Polygon Pictures produced the film, with direction by the talented Hiroyuki Seshita, and scriptwriting by Sadayugi Morai, based on Sutomo Nihai's Blame manga series. The movie takes us on a journey to a distant future where civilization has achieved its ultimate form through net-based technology. But a disastrous past infection leads to the creation of an automated city structure with endless multi-leveled replication in all directions. This triggers the Safeguard, a defense system that hunts humans down as illegal, and the Electro-Fishers, facing extinction, are left in a critical state. Zuru and her friends embark on a quest to find food for their starving village, but trigger a Safeguard pack to hunt them down. Killy, a wanderer searching for the net terminal gene, saves Zuru and her friend Tay. Killy's intervention helps the village with its food crisis, and Pop, the village leader, takes an interest in him after learning he's from 6,000 levels below. Killy and Zuru join Sibo, a former scientist, to an automated factory to produce more food, but the system rejects Sibo's login and becomes mass-producing exterminators to eliminate the electrofishers. Sibo transforms himself into a cyborg and leads the villagers to safety on a railway car. Sonicon, the safeguard cyborg representative, destroys the village, killing most of the villagers. Killy and Zuru team up to fight Sonicon and save the remaining villagers. Sibo sacrifices herself to give the villagers a chance to escape to an abandoned level beyond safeguard control. In the end, Zuru and the remaining villagers start a new life in the abandoned level, and Zulu's granddaughter recalls Killy's legend. The movie's significance lies in its portrayal of a dystopian society where technology controls humans. Blame raises critical questions about technology's role in society and its impact on our lives. The anime also emphasizes the power of human connection and hope, even in a seemingly hopeless world. Marvelous Verdict Cyberpunk, a genre that is known for its striking futuristic visuals, is more than just its aesthetics. It is the genre's deep-seated political subtext, themes, and ideals that make it truly revolutionary. Born from the fusion of Japanese punk culture and a deep-seated desire to challenge the oppressive forces of corporate greed and government corruption, it is something that dares to speak truth to power, that promotes the fight against the system, and refuses to be co-opted by those who seek to exploit its aesthetic for commercial gain. It often ends up exposing the disgusting underbelly of those systems in the process and shows its audiences just how blood-soaked oppression can really get if left unchecked.